Hey everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. This is gonna be a super quick and easy to follow tutorial on how I did this Bantu knot style. So I'm starting out on blow dried hair. For a style like this, a blow dried hair is gonna make your life a whole lot easier because when it comes to the partings, this will be a lifesaver. For a style like this, I do think that the partings are quite important. So I am gonna be quite particular about where I'm placing the partings and how tidy they are. So first, what I'm going to be doing is sectioning the front away from the back. To do that, I'm going from the crown down to the back of one ear and then from the crown down to the back of the other ear and then join that together so that I've got a front half and a back half like so i'm also going to tie the back section away because i'll be working on that later so for the bantu knots i want the sections to be triangles so what i'm doing here is parting off one half of the triangle because the first bantu knot is going to be right in the center of my head so this is one half of the triangle i just find it easier for this part of hair to work in halves rather than trying to do the whole triangle all at once if you know what i mean so i kind of sectioned off the middle part in and then did an angled part and then again in line with the middle part in and then did an angled part for the other side of the triangle i hope that makes sense um, and then I kind of just keep going over the part in until I have it positioned exactly how I want it. And this is how the section ended up. Then what I did is go in with my Denman paddle brush just to make sure that the whole section is nice and smooth back. And I'm going in with my small little hair bands and tying it around. Make sure that you do not tie your hair bands too tight for a style like this. I'm not sure about you, but whenever I part my hair in a way that I don't usually part my hair, I get headaches, especially if I tie it too tight. So on each so each time I tied my hair in a hairband, I just made sure that I wiggled the hairband up a little bit just so that it's not super tight so that I did not get a headache. So for the next section, I'm going to be doing a triangle facing the other direction. So I'm starting off at the point of the old triangle and then angling it down towards my face to create a triangle shape in the opposite direction. I hope that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but I think the visuals make it a bit clearer. Then again, smooth it down with my paddle brush just to make sure that it's all nice and tidy and tie it up with a elastic band. And then here's the last section, smooth it back, tie it up with a small hairband. And this is what one side looks like. And then I did the exact same thing on the other side. So in total, across the front, there is going to be five sections for the Bantu knots. Here is a close up of all of the sections complete. So I've got five triangles across the front of my head. And then on the back of my head, I've got four triangles, which I created kind of using an X part in across the back of my head. Here's a little Bantu knot that I prepared earlier. <laughs> so here is exactly how I did that. So I brushed each section through and then put it into a nice little twist. Doesn't have to be tidy. I, I just did these twists really quickly. It doesn't matter if I've got bits sticking out or not. And then once I got to the end of my hair, I kind of gently just wrapped the twist around itself until I got to the end of my hair. And then I used a tiny rubber band to secure it in place. And then I do the exact same thing on all of the other sections. So brush it out if it needs to be brushed out, twist it all the way to the end. It doesn't have to be particularly tidy. And then wrap the twist around itself until you get all the way to the end of the hair and then secure it with a rubber band. I actually grew up calling this hairstyle chiny bumps rather than bantu knots, which I think is a Jamaican thing or the Caribbean in general. Um, but yeah, let me know. Did you grow up calling it Chinese bumps or Bantu knots? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I actually did this style for a fancy dress, like a 90s a fancy dress party, but I actually love it. And I think I would actually rock this to like a normal event, not even necessarily a fancy dress party. So next time I'm going to a hair event, I think this is gonna be my hairstyle because I thought it was super cute. So here you can kind of see a bit clearer how I parted my hair in the back. As you can see, there's a cross, there's partings in the shape of a cross, which then left me with the four triangle sections. Then I tied those triangle sections up into a hairband and here I'm creating the Bantu knots by twisting it all the way to the end, wrapping it around itself and then securing with a rubber band. 
and that is literally it the partings were the hardest part of this but kind of take your time use a handheld mirror so you can see the back of your head in a big mirror and then just keep adjusting the partings until you get them how you want them and this is the final look i was kind of scared to do this but i was really really happy with how it came out i love it i think it looks super super cute and yeah i got loads of compliments so let me know what you think would you rock this style out on any average day let me know if you try this out and if you take any pictures make sure you send them my way or tag me in your instagram stories and yeah thanks for watching i will see you in my next video